How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got the Google Pixel 9a and the Google Pixel 10. And slight comparison between them two. I mean, they are great phones. I've enjoyed using my Pixel 9a. I still use it as a secondary device to keep with me. You know, if I want to, you know, record video clips for the Pixel 10, that type of stuff. Um, so yeah, having both these devices, one with the Tensor G4 and one with the Tensor G5, I figured, you know, I'd also show you guys just a little comparison between them as far as like opening apps and just seeing the, like how well it manages apps and how long it takes to open them, that type of stuff. But the reason I'm doing that, you know, is because the Tensor G4 in the Pixel 9a is a modified version of it. So in order to actually know like the full capabilities of the G4, I would have to have a Pixel 9 in hand in order to do that test so we'll see if that ever happens but for the most part both phones perform operate really good they're both on android 16 they both have material 3 expressive um they got all the you know cool treatments and everything like that obviously the pixel 10 having a little bit more ram than the pixel 9a so you have to keep that in mind but the pixel 9a is no slouch at all whatsoever i mean its performance has always impressed me and yeah, I have no, no ill no ill things towards the 9A. Um, does it have any like battery, you know, heating issues or anything like that? No, I can tell you guys no, especially since, you know, the 9A, for those who have forgotten, has the vapor cooling chamber, uh, which helps keep it moderately cool. And then the Pixel 10 with, you know, also having the same similar features. Um, the only difference between them literally is the Pixel 10 has three camera sensors on it. It's got a telephoto sensor. The Pixel 9a does not. But the Pixel 9a could actually be something that we could be uh, experiencing in the future when it comes to like the Pixel 10a. Although there's a possibility that the Pixel 10a may be the last of the A series devices. We'll talk about that in a future video. Um, but as far as like, you know, behaviors with the user experience on both of these phones, I could tell you guys that uh, I'm not feeling any pinches at all whatsoever, like any drastic differences between them. If I'm being honest, I mean, I'm a Pixel fanboy, I'm gonna call it like I see it. So with the 9a being what's supposed to be the uh, scaled down versions of the Pixel flagship devices, it does not. I've said this for so long that the A series devices, especially the Tensor based ones, do not feel like mid-range options they feel like their flagship brethren the only difference is with them is like the build quality of the devices right you know glass versus plastic uh the pixel 9a's backing is, is is plastic which is one of the cool things i like about it because it's essentially in my opinion more durable than the pixel 10 pixel 10 having a glass back and i know if i drop it i can crack it it's just gonna look ugly as hell and with the Pixel 9a, I mean, I could scuff the back, I can damage it, but I know it's not going to spider crack shatter. So that's like one leg up that it has over the Pixel 10. But I still keep both of them in a the case just because I like to keep them in as best condition as possible. Um, as you're seeing here, I am going through the apps and showing you guys uh, how, you know, like how it performs opening each app. So you guys can see that for yourself. But um, other things to kind of just duly note here is like the, the side rails of the phones. They feel really good in hand too so crazy that it does right i mean something as as simple as like a side rail with the phone you know it's it's got this coating on it that just makes it feel nice and soft to the touch even though that it is metal and i have no complaints of it whatsoever it's comfortable to hold each of these devices in hand i've never had an issue of doing that at all whatsoever of course when you put a case on it it adds a little bulk to these phones but for the most part um you know they're they feel nice in the hand simple as that uh, the camera, you know, when it comes down to it, camera, photography, that type of thing. Um, I think that both of the phones are pretty good and it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. I'll show you guys a sample here in a little bit, but they use the same camera sensor as far as for the main shooter, right? Um, so the uh, Pixel 9a 48 megapixel shooter and the Pixel 10's main primary camera is a 48, 48 megapixel shooter as well. Um, the photography from both of them are almost similar. They're almost similar. There's a slight difference you can see. I'll show them here in a second. But 
um, for the most part, they're, they're pretty similar. It's when you start going into different territories, like if you're, if you're going with zoom, right? We have that telephoto sensor and a pixel 10. So of course we're gonna get like a very good 20 times zoom. And I've showed you guys what a 20 times zoom can do. And it's amazing on the pixel 10. And you know, for the pixel 9a, it lacks that pretty much. So that's probably the only caveat of having the pixel 9a. But overall, these are great devices. You can feel a little difference between a Tensor G4 and Tensor G5, but it's nothing drastic. It's nothing that's detrimental. Um, they perform pretty good. Material 3 Expressive is nice on these phones. Android 16 is solid.